All right, so I want to show you how to update the ECM, ACM, MCM, CPC modules on the Detroit diesel. Um, but I wanted to show you first that your connection here for your computer, uh, if there's an ELD or some kind of uh, device attached to your J1939 connection there, it can mess up your programming. So the first thing you want to do is uh, make sure that if you do have something connected back here that you unplug whatever it is that's connected and get to directly to the truck's um, J1, J9139, whatever it is, connector. Okay, once you have your uh, computer cable hooked up to the truck, key on, you open up Diagnostic Link, and usually it'll open you up to the fault code page. But if you go to the tab just above it, Identification, this is where you're going to be able to see all your modules and their software numbers, and uh, be able to verify your your VIN number and your engine serial number on all your modules. So this is a CPC module which I'm going to be updating, the MCM module. If you look here, is the software version, R38, MCM, fuel map part number, that's an important number, the ZGS003. Uh, and again, you can verify that it has the right VIN and ser engine serial number as your truck up here. Uh, TCM will be updating, and the ACM, which is all the way down here at the bottom fuel map part number, uh, software version, and the VIN number. Once you've got all your software information that you need, on this left hand side you want to go to the program device tab. If you can't see it, you may need to scroll down over here if I could ever do it. There you go, and there's the program device tab. Once you get to this page, uh, you'll see that it has a couple different um, VIN numbers in here. What you want to do first is hit remove all. And when it, it asks you to say yes, okay. come to software. Want to hit refresh? It'll give you this warning. Select yes. Now, once you go back to the unit data tab, you want to hit add. Make sure it's your VIN number, serial number. Hit OK. It'll give you the request pending. Now, what you want to do is disconnect from your truck by going to file. Close connections. Once you get to this point, you'll want to hit the connect to server button down here on the bottom right. Now it's going to ask you for your username and password and make sure you have your credentials, put that in and hit OK. Once you put in the correct username and password and hit OK, it will start downloading everything you need from the server. And once this is complete, you'll reconnect to the video, well, I'm sorry, you'll reconnect to the truck, and then you will be ready to begin programming your device. Okay, our connection to server was successful. And you see it has my VIN and engine serial number there, so I'm gonna go to little green and blue arrows pointing right and left that'll connect your truck automatically once all our modules are green we'll proceed Now we're good, so we want to hit the next button. Okay, 
And now you're going to have a list of your options of all your modules here up top. Uh, I don't think the order really matters. So we'll start with the CPC that's highlighted up here right now. So you have three options. Go to Update Device Software. You'll see there, there there's a new updated software version. It has the yellow yield sign or exclamation point. That means that there's going to require more updating to other modules in order to have their software compatible with your updated software in the CPC. That's fine. You click on that, you hit next. Now it gives you a list of all the modules that are going to be needed to need to be updated in order to be compatible with the new CPC update. So you see we need to update the ACM, MCM, and TCM in order to be compatible with the CPC update. And so it has your software versions that you're going to need to update these different modules to. And that's really the main thing you need to pay attention to. Your module, ACM to this software, MCM to this software, TCM to this software, and so on. So take a picture or write down those module updates and Know that just know that you'll have to update those modules as well. You just hit OK. And now right here at this screen, you're ready to begin the update process. So like I said, make sure that you're connected directly to the truck. There's no ELDs or anything installed. I recommend battery chargers both on the truck and your computer. And then you just hit start. We're just going to run through this and then we're just going to do the same process through every other module. You may notice your blinkers and lights start flashing and you lose readings in your dash cluster, but don't worry, that always happens every time you update the module. Once the programming of the CPC or whatever module is complete, it will automatically reconnect to all of the different modules, MCM, CPC, the whole truck. And once you do, do that, the finish button will become available and you'll be able to finish. And I always wait till it's done connecting to everything. But as you see here, it says the device was successfully programmed but may have configuration errors. And what that means is that those other modules, the MCM, ACM, TCM, need to be updated in order to be compatible. So just hit finish. And it brings you back to your program device uh, screen. And then we're just going to run through the same process without disconnecting or connecting to the server again. It's unnecessary. All you need to do is hit next, pick your different module, so we'll do the MCM next, Oop. and update device, and you see again our new software version, the uh, compatibility triangle, hit next, gives us the same information. And then we're ready to begin the next module. And like I said, again, you just ACM, TCM, all the same thing. Once you're finished with this one, just hit next, ACM update, next, TCM update, next. And once you finish all of them, your truck will be up to date.